So we're here in Osasco, about to start our tour. We go up for maybe three or four hours to make a snow shelter there. And then tomorrow we are going to tour over some passes if conditions are good and uh, try and make it back to the car. So the crew was me, Ole, John and Ryan, uh, the Scandinavian team and the Kiwi. How we doing? Ole and Jan, uh, like if I could compare them to anyone, be like Mary and Pippin off Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to do this radical kind of shit together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours into our two day trip here in Bereto, and uh, the sun just came out. It was just amazing to just experience that open area where we were, and there were mountains all over, all over around us. Literally, <laughs> best day ever. I was stoked, yeah. Oh, stop this, stop this. As we started moving up the valley a little bit more, we saw there were really high winds on the top. So already we were thinking conditions were changing a lot more than forecasted. When we got up to where we were supposed to build a snow cave, we had to stop in a hut and check the weather forecast and the avalanche forecast for the next day. And then when we looked at it, we were all like, uh oh, it had changed for the worse. So we just stopped for lunch, check the weather, and tomorrow's a lot worse than it was today. So we don't want to ski down the valley we haven't been in uh, and ride out. We're going to push on and do tomorrow's tour today and tonight. Get down to the tree line and then probably dig in and uh, camp at the tree line somewhere and have a little tree ski in the snow tomorrow. down this alley, up over this pass. That's what I live for, this is fucking wicked man. been in a situation like that when you really feel like you're a team and like if everyone has to uh, go over that pass that we went over we can't turn around it's no way of turning around so we just have to do it and that team spirit that we have was really good yeah. for that like skins are just a state of mind yeah. Woo! Woo! I think my lowest low point was probably when the skins failed and we were in between on the glacier in between two passes and I was pretty pissed but also like that was in a way also the best part when clearing that pass, that mountain pass. when you overcome one of those struggles, the worst part becomes the best. Good job. Now after we had gone down the passes it was already dark and we were pretty tired. I was just so fatigued that I just wanted to go down. The way Ryan convinced me to uh, uh, yesterday was just what I needed. Some uh, warm soup and uh, some digging. We go 
got the cave mining team. We're probably like an hour in. It's taking shape pretty well. I found building the snow cave really relaxing because I didn't do much. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was great. Yeah. Oh. May I go see? Kusli. Huh? How do you say it? Kusli. Kusli. Doing it. I don't know what I'm filming. Oh, 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 oh this was so <laughs> nice. Oh, <no>. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Good Napa. night. When the boys finally woke up, we looked outside, or we packed our stuff, looked outside, and it was snowing. Didn't really see anything, but it seemed good. The conditions wasn't too bad, and now it's, we were all excited to ski down. Waking up in the morning in the snow cave, and then having to put on cold, stiff, wet boots. It's just enough to make a grown man cry. <laughs> Adios. So now we're uh, heading back down to the car through the trees, I guess. So it's going to be a nice run down. Well, I still can't see anything. Uh, they're walking back for sure. Yeah, that was that was uh, not fun for me. Uh, uh, my backpack was all uh, like a real mess. Everything that just <laughs> came out, and I wanted to drink water, could not drink water. So we were going to glide the whole way down to yeah. the car again. Oscar, Oscar. Nice guys. Hey! Yeah, good gives job. a hug. Ah, good job. Ah. Good job. Sickalicious, no worries. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. So I think we can actually go like next to or on the road. Yeah. We have to cross over three mountains, uh, ski like eight or nine glaciers, and travel about 40 kilometers to get home. Two days, should be good. <laughs> Ew. Almost time. Not long now. <laughs>